All right, Daniel, so my first question would be, how great was the experience to work on this movie? It was absolutely brilliant. A lot of training, a lot of fighting and shooting guns, which for, you know, a girl who just gets brought out to the middle of New Zealand and, and hangs out with loads of boys, it was great. I learned to be a fighter and join a team and work with some really amazing people. Well, among the amazing people, what was it like seeing Scarlett as the major? How great a feeling was that? It was great. I was a big fan of the anime for years and to see her totally transform to this iconic character was so awesome and to watch her on set and work together was great. What was it like, obviously, to be play your character, which is also fine? Um, it was great to play Ladria. We got to make her from scratch. She's not in the original anime, so we had lots of chats and we made this girl who's like great from London like me and I got to represent my home city and it was really good fun and be like rough and yeah it was great I really enjoyed it what do you think fans will love most I think the fans will love that there is a lot of faithful things to the original some of the images are really similar but it's kind of modernized and made for today um, I think the music, the sequences, all of it's going to be really cool. Last question, I mean, what do you think made, I mean, Rupert be able to pay tribute to the original, you know, anime and manga? Um, I think he knew what he was doing, he knew the original, um, and I think if you know the original, that it's just such a beautiful piece of work, you can't not want to do it justice. and. We had people come from the original and and consult them and stuff and I think he knew the original so well that he could make something that was faithful but also completely new. Well thank you very much for being with us in Paris and yeah, know, see you on stage. Well to see it. Thank you so much. How great was the experience to work on the movie? How great? Uh, it was actually uh, um, a wonderful experience, but it was quite simple, like uh, any film. Uh, very concentrated with uh, lots of uh, of concentration and love, and uh, it felt like everybody was uh, was really uh, focused on their job. Uh, we did it bit by bit because Rupert and I um, had to know each other, uh, but on on the whole, it was. Uh, I wouldn't say easy, but it was uh, genuine. Seeing Scarlett as the major, I mean, what was the feeling like? Um, it was a discovery because I've, I've never seen her, you know, on a set. So there was a, a sort of a fascination that how she was going to take the Robert role. And at the same time, uh, she was not playing a human being. She was just uh, discovering some moments, and uh, you could to try and uh, and become this human being bit by bit. I think as uh, she was going, she was uh, she was searching herself. You certainly play a key human being in the film. I mean, could you tell us a little bit about what you play in the movie? What do you do? What? I mean, you, you certainly play a key role in the movie. Could you tell us a bit about your take on your character? Uh, my take on the character? Um, I, uh, she's a scientist, so what I really had to emphasize was the, the human side. And I knew I, I, I had to give the, the warmth and the love in order for, to understand that she sacrifices herself. Uh, for the humankind because uh, Major is her genius made into a body, a shell into the, um, a ghost into, into, the bud, into the body, into the shell but uh, I think my character is surprised by, by the ghost that it still survives and, uh, and it has glitches that shows that we cannot extinguish uh, or manipulate a human being, that there's always been some um, need of freedom and need of truth in any human being and major in this film is the proof of it
I mean, what do you think the fans will love most about the film? I, I'm sorry, I don't understand the beginning of the sentences. <laughs> the sound, the sound. What do you think will the fans love most about the movie? I have no idea because I haven't seen the movie and I'm watching it for the first time tonight. So I'm going to be discovering it now. So I'll, I'll know better afterwards. And do you think, how did you think Rupert succeed in a way in being an homage in a way to the original anime? Well, I'm going to deceive you a lot because I haven't seen the anime either. <laughs> I, I started watching it during prep time, but then I thought it was not it was not necessary in the way that it, I didn't want to have any print from the past. I, I wanted to have a, uh, there was a script with a new character. The scientist I was playing it was not a male uh, character. It was a female, so uh, not like the original. And also uh, the scientist in the anime is quite dark and hard as this character had to be, well, had dark sides, definitely, because she made a contract with the, uh, you know, with the devil, but on the other hand, she, she realizes something and she frees nature uh, at the end. So uh, that was, that was far enough from the, from, from the original in order not to be the need of, of watching but now that I've done the film I, I can I can watch the anime I, I watched parts of it but then I stopped because I thought it was not it was not necessary thank you so much thank Juliette you. Thank you very much. so how great was the experience to work on the film the, well the experience I had working on the film it was very intense Um, but also a lot of fun, you know, it was, a, it was a lot of fun. It was a really good group of people. Rupert and um, Scarlett are, are a great team. And um, they made it, they made it um, a really beautiful experience for me. When you first saw Scarlett as the major, what was the feeling like? What was the feeling like? Uh, I don't know, you know, like um, when I saw her as the major, I don't know, you know, I remember Scarlett from, from way back uh, in New York. Um, I, I didn't know her, but I just remember her as like uh, this little girl. So actually it was, a, it was amazing to see her so um, fit and so dedicated and strong. It was cool. What would you say, I mean, what do you think that fans will love most about the movie? Um, I think, I hope that fans will feel, my hope is that the fans will love the things that we stayed true to from the original manga and also the things that inevitably, you know, we had to change in order to make a, a, a film. That's, that's my hope. How do you think Rupert succeed in many ways to pay tribute and homage to the original manga and anime? Well, I mean, just knowing the original anime and and wanting to make the movie, I think is is enough. I mean, I, I I don't know how many years, but it's been it's been quite a long journey for Rupert. He's been extremely passionate about it. It was a very difficult shoot. Um, there was constantly obstacles every day, and he, you know, he handled it beautifully. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm happy for him. Thank you so much. How great was it, the experience, to work on this movie? How great was it to work on Ghost in the Shell? It was, it was pretty incredible. It was, uh, it's one of those rare experiences you get to try as an actor to work with such a, uh, such an incredible actress as Scarlett Johansson, but also such a visual director as Rupert Sanders. So, I feel very lucky. It was very good to see Scarlett as the major. She, I think she's done an incredible job and I'm just so excited that the whole world is going to see it very soon. I mean, obviously you play a very interesting character. Can you tell us a little bit 
about what it was like to play Badu. What was the feeling? Well, how was it to play Bato? It was wonderful. He's um, he's like the Asian Hamlet. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Uh, he's such a love character. It's always difficult when you're doing an adaptation of uh, an anime or some books. But I think we got away with it. I'm 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 happy with the work we did, and uh, hopefully I get to portray Bato for many more years to come. I mean, what do you think the fans will love most about the film? What will fans love most? That we stayed faithful to the original manga and the anime, and it's um, it's a very beautiful, strong film. And what I mean about strong film is there's two very strong women in it. And nowadays we need strong women more than ever. Last question, I mean, what do you think in a way enabled Rupert to in a way pay tribute to the original anime? And Rupert is such an incredible artist. He's fantastic. What he has created in this film is astonishing. Um, he has created a world which I think is going to be very possible for our children to experience. And uh, it's good and bad because it's, it's a difficult future. Thank you very much for your time. See you on stage. Well, Rupert, how great was the experience to work on such a movie? Uh, it's been a wonderful experience. It's been three years of uh, very hard work with a lot of very creative and talented people around us. So it's it's great, you know, we finished the film last week and here we are on the red carpet in, in Paris. It's been an amazing whirlwind. Uh, there's a, a tiny sparkle of glamour at the end of a very unglamorous and tough uh, production. So it's, it's great to come out and show the film. Seeing Scarlet as your major how did you react? What was the feeling like? It was great, you know, we did a lot of, uh, we had a lot of conversations, Scarlett and I, and then when we finally got, um, got onto set that first day and she came out and she was in, in character in the Thermoptic suit, it was, it was mind blowing, it was really great. She looks amazing and she's, she really delivers an incredible performance. Uh, it was uh, a, a great, a great uh, experience for me as a director to work with her. How would you say, oh, sorry, what was it would you say um, what the fans you think will love most about your film? I hope that um, they are blown away by the world. It's, it's a mind-blowing uh, visual feast, but I think at the heart of it there's a really emotional uh, and wonderful performance. It's a female-driven uh, action film, um, unlike anything else, it's a very different film to, to other films in this genre and I think it'll stand out uh, on its own. How do you think you manage to like pay homage in a way to the original manga or anime? That was really my, uh, my uh, kind of, I guess, that was really uh, my goal from early on, was I didn't want to just uh, rewrite the world. I, I, I wanted to make Ghost in the Shell because I love the universe, I love the characters, I love the world. I wanted this to be part of the legacy uh, and I wanted to honor the original and that's why we went to Japan for, for our first international premiere. Uh, that's why we went to Japan to launch the trailer and we worked with Takeshi Kitano and Kaori Momoi. You know, this film challenges so much of that. You know? Thank you so much for bringing Ghost to Shell to Paris. It's, it's, uh, it's really wonderful to be in Paris. It's, a, it's an amazing, amazing place to, to, to show a film. You know, London is my hometown, but it's, it's lovely to be in Paris. Merci beaucoup. See you on stage. How great, exciting was the experience to work on such a film? Um, it was very daunting, actually. I, I don't know if exciting is the word to use for it. I'm excited now to present this film to everybody, but it was a very, um, it was, a, it was, it was just a lot of work and it wasn't immediately apparent that this film could just be like lifted into the live action, uh, uh, you know, format. So yeah, it was a lot of pressure.
but good pressure. I mean, when the first time you saw yourself as the major, what was the feeling like? Um, I think it was a it was a development over the first couple of weeks of shooting where you start to you know uh, embody the physicality of the character, which is so important, and you start to have these kind of um, you know you start start to feel like the physicality is second nature. That's when you. That's when you start to feel like you know what you're doing. <laughs> the cup takes a couple of weeks. And what would you say she, what is the major really in terms of character? Uh, the major is living a very singular experience where she is a human brain in an entirely machine ate body. And, you know, she has an idea of the person that she is supposed to be, the person that is avenging who she was and then the actual The, the true self that is that is calling to her, her ghost. Um, so she's she's a co very complex character. What do you think fans will love most about the film? Um, I hope fans uh, go on this journey with uh, with with the major. I hope they are able to, you know, recognize some version of themselves in her, and you know, I think also be completely enveloped in this outrageous world that Rupert has created for the audience. I think it's a really exciting audience going experience. So I hope people are very entertained. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bonsoir à tous et à tous et bienvenue au Grand Rex où toute l'équipe de Paramount Picture France est très heureuse de vous accueillir pour l'avant-première exceptionnelle de Ghost in the Shell de Rupert Sanders. Mêlant avec brio le spectaculaire et l'intime trac criminel et quête existentielle, il va nous plonger dans un monde futuriste où humains et cyborgs cohabitent. Il est là pour vous ce soir, Rupert Sanders, dont Blanche-Neige et le chasseur avait déjà fait un triomphe. Shall we call your team and your cast? Yeah, I, uh, I would Absolument. Alors bien sûr, l'accompagnant ici ce soir pour vous, nous avons le plaisir d'accueillir d'une part l'actrice anglaise Danusia Samal qui incarne l'Adria, membre de la section 9. Elle est à Paris également pour vous ce soir dans le rôle de Lia Adwoa Aboa. Vous allez tout à l'heure découvrir leur rôle dans Ghost in the Shell. Bienvenue à vous à Paris. Il incarne Kuz, adversaire énigmatique du Major et hacker de génie. L'acteur américain Michael Pitt, qui est absolument extraordinaire dans ce rôle. Dans la peau de Batou, bras droit du Major, l'acteur danois Pilou Asbeck, qui lui aussi, comme vous le verrez, joue un rôle essentiel aux côtés du Major. Oscarisé pour son rôle dans le patient anglais, elle incarne ici le docteur Ouellet. Je parle bien entendu de Juliette Binoche. <applaudissements> Juliette Binoche qui va vous surprendre dans cet univers de science-fiction où elle joue un rôle clé. Enfin, last but not least, maintes fois nommé au Golden Globes, César d'honneur en 2014 pour l'essentiel de son œuvre. Je parle bien entendu de Scarlett Johansson qui incarne le Major et à qui je vous demande de faire un accueil triomphal. Elle est absolument bluffante 
Et vous allez voir dans quelques instants ce que Rupert Sanders lui fait faire dans ce film. Scarlett Johansson qui est à Paris pour vous ce soir. Welcome to Paris, Scarlett. Welcome. Oh, merci, merci. Well, well, Rupert, obviously, Rupert Sanders making Ghost in the Shell was no small challenge. I mean, what captures your imagination? I mean, what, how did you make it your own? Um, it's, a, it's an incredible piece of material to start with. So really, I had to just kind of immerse myself in it. And I was a fan from early on, and I knew that... Uh, I had to do uh, right by myself and therefore the other fans. And there's just so much in there that is, that is philosophical, that is uh, introspective, but also that's, that's visceral and uh, uh, visual. And then I was very lucky to be able to have uh, roped in these uh, thespians to join me on the journey. And it's, uh, it's a proud moment tonight in this incredible cinema. Um, you know, we literally just finished the film last week. Are you saying hurry up? All right. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. I just try to remember everything you say, but oh, everybody understands There, English yeah. anyway. Okay. No, c'était d'abord une œuvre tellement riche et majeure que c'est vrai que j'ai eu un plaisir fou à me plonger dedans. Euh, je savais qu'il y avait à la fois évidemment l'aspect science-fiction, mais également l'aspect viscéral, l'aspect philosophique, et puis évidemment d'être d'être entouré euh, d'acteurs aussi brillants. Eh bien, Bien entendu, ça a été une grande aventure, le matériel vraiment d'origine étant absolument d'une richesse incroyable. Et je me suis donc plongée pour que, avec moi, toute mon équipe se plonge ensemble pour justement faire vivre le monde de Ghost in the Shell. Alors, Scarlett Johansson, obviously, your, your part is essential in the movie. I mean, what, what attracted you to her journey And, and what's your take on her? Hi. <laughs> Look at all you guys, all the way up. It's so exciting to be here tonight. Those seats look very comfortable. Regardez-vous tous, c'est une salle magnifique. Les sièges sont très confortables. D'ailleurs, Rupert Sanders aussi disait que c'était un bonheur d'être en France et dans cette salle ce soir. I, I think, you know, what attracted me to this character was really her very complex inner life. You know, the fact that I would have the opportunity to play uh, someone who's experienced a very unique uh, uh, existence of a human brain and in, in, in kind of trapped in this machine body. It seemed like Uh, there wouldn't be so many opportunities to play someone that, in, yeah, having that experience. Ce attiré, uh, ver, vers ce personnage, ce rôle, et je crois que c'est un rôle très rare uh, au cinéma. Et eh bien, c'est de c'est de vraiment être dans la peau de quelqu'un qui est à la fois uh, qui a l'âme la pensée humaine, mais que mais dont l'âme est également uh, en quelque sorte captive de son corps et de ce shell en quelque sorte. Et ça, c'est quelque chose de très rare au cinéma, de jouer un personnage aussi complexe. Oui Alors, Juliette, bien sûr, on, on, on ne s'attend pas finalement à vous voir dans un, dans un univers de science-fiction. Et pourtant, vous jouez un rôle clé dans, dans ce film. Pouvez-vous nous parler un peu de, de votre personnage et de de sa relation avec le personnage joué par Scarlett Johansson, The Major. Sans trop en dire, évidemment, sans trop dévoiler. Bonsoir. Bonsoir à tous. De même. Hi. Euh, je ne vais pas trop parler du, du film ou des personnages, parce qu'on va les voir bientôt, mais c'était un, un bonheur de traverser cette histoire euh, folle. C'est vrai que je ne pensais pas être dans l'aventure et c'est toi qui as insisté. Donc je suis quand même venue euh, danser euh, avec Scarlett et, et, et cette histoire. Donc c'est euh, un bonheur d'être là. Et moi, je vous souhaite une bonne soirée. Et je crois que vous attendez patiemment 
le truc qui démarre très très vite et qui est plein de, de feu parce que je crois que de côté effets spéciaux ça doit donner et comme je vais découvrir le film avec vous ce soir euh, je ne suis, suis pas nerveuse en fait, pas du tout, je ne sais pas pourquoi mais bon c'est comme ça euh, mais je suis heureuse en tout cas de le, le partager avec vous donc euh, bonne soirée à vous tous Merci Juliette One last word if you want if anybody wishes to say something for the Parisian fans that are in this mythical theater Le Grand Rex, a mythical place for a mythical film Anything you wish to add C'est cool, hein c'est oui. absolument un mot parfait pour conclure cette introduction. Vous allez voir, c'est cool et bien plus. Très, très bonne projection. Merci à vous tous. Thank you so much for being with merci, us today. Merci, merci. Applause.